the kingdom of God is within you. I am in the heart of God. I am here on the ground, the prayer of God. We are at the beginning of something and everything is in turmoil and everything is new. I feel a vulnerability where the strength of the mother is in the wind, in the earth and in the animals. I feel the calling to understand and subdue the energies that pull me away from my single focus to be in God, for God, to be in me. Again, I'm guided to slow down, to be still and listen. Come Holy Spirit of God, come Holy Mother, come divine guides for all who are here or will listen to this later. Mother Mary Guadalupe, you heal us and help us walk through the darkness, the unknown. Padre Pio, help us all create a living wisdom within us and experience the grace as you had, a way to see and act beyond our limitations. St. Teresa of Lisieux, you're always a prayer away. You whisper back sweet, divine invitations to be closer to God and help me drop the walls around my heart. Ron Roth, avatar, teacher, founder of our blessed community, come be like the wind and dispel all ignorance and bring us wisdom. All our intercessors, come bring us in union with God and our purpose. Shine your light on us. This light of God's love and compassion. Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, show us your heart. Bring us into God's rapture with you. There is an inner reminder and an inner remember who holds together all the desperate and fragmented parts of our lives, who fills in all the gaps, who owns all the mistakes, who forgives all the failures, and who loves us into an ever deeper life. This is the job description of the Holy Spirit, who is the spring that wells up within us into eternal time. This is the breath that warms and renews everything. These are the eyes that see beyond the momentary shadow and disguise of things. These are the tears that wash and cleanse the past. And better yet, they are not only our tears, but are actually the very presence and consolation of God within us. Thank you, God, for this amazing challenge. My life, you have revealed the inner and outer world to me. Holy Spirit of God, illuminate within me the doorway of heaven. My awakening to a greater consciousness of this inner life. My heart wishes to open more to you as I hear songs of love and worship, like children's laughter in a park. I too am running after you, at the same time, running after myself. My beloved, my divine mind, rays of light filter through the anxiety of my outer world because I have not yet learned to surrender fully to your will. Thank you, God, for your kindness, showing me the fruit of living close to nature. We can make ourselves the offering. 
We are truly the vessel of God. Bishop Bobby says, always look for the light. Being intercessors for the divine, we're united in the effort. We have so much love within us. God, I wish to keep it simple. I surrender to the divine that is us. From hell to hallelujah, we become one with the Blessed Mother, with the Holy Spirit, with the heart of God, ourselves. I will keep taking everything to the altar. God's favor comes over me all the time. Show me your will, God, more than ever. I want to live your will. Spiritual mother, you are the seed of wisdom. I definitely, desperately need wisdom. Help me to love God as he deserves and desires of me. You obeyed God's holy and mysterious will. In doing so, you have brought the glories of God's presence to the nations in your divine son, Jesus. You continuously experience the gift of heaven. Cherished spouse of the Holy Spirit, Please send the Holy Spirit of truth to my dreams, goals, my mornings and evenings of longing. Whisper wisdom as you sing sweet lullabies of God's Holy Spirit all over the earth. My eternal spiritual mother, please give me wisdom. Dearest mother of God, for your divine son is forever the source of wisdom. Please give me Jesus. Make me an instrument of your peace. Lord, hold us in your compassionate embrace, your great compassionate light. Let our troubles, our worries, fall away like dry sand in the wind. Oh Lord, let me be still and experience the vastness of who you are, the heavenly realms. I commit to the daily practice of holding you Thank you for this amazing life, for taking me back into your embrace. I can live again another day and listen for your angels. Let there be peace in us, in the world right now. Peace in each breath. Hold us. Show us how to walk again. O oh, Father, receive thou the fervor of my soul, the devotion of incarnations, the love of pages that I have kept locked in the vault of my heart. <laughs> Divine Father, in the temple of silence, I have made a garden for thee, decorated with the blossoms of my devo devotion. With aspiring heart, with zealous mind, with flaming soul, I lay at thy feet the omnipresence of all the flowers of my devotion. O oh, Spirit, I worship thee as beauty and intelligence in the temple of nature. I worship thee as power in the temple of activity and as peace in the temple of silence.
Oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens and the weight of glory. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of the world. We say prayers knowing you are hearing us better than we are speaking. We offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. This last prayer is for Virginia. Dear God, noble Virginia, you led us to the heart and soul of the Blessed Mother within. Your dedication to God and to compassion brought a rapture, a fire. I was transported into the revelation and lived the transmission. You live your life's purpose brilliantly. Your love of the students, your children, continues with the deep want of discovery and growth. I shall revel in your laughter and your prayers, your humility, and your love of the Blessed Mother. Virginia, you're my, Virginia, my strength, my faith was strengthened when you brought home our mother's gifts from Medjugorje. You showed us how to live her love and be filled with her presence. I am so imperfect. And Blessed Mother showed me the truth that I am deeply loved and cared for. And this is a, a message from Our Lady of Medjugorje about the time that Virginia was there. Dear children, also today I call you to also be like the stars, which by their light give light and beauty to others so that they may rejoice. Little children, also you be the radiance, beauty, joy, and peace, and especially prayer for all those who are far from my love and the love of my son Jesus. Little children, witness your faith and prayer in joy, in the joy of faith that is in your hearts. And pray for peace, which is a precious gift from God. Thank you for having responded to my call. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. <laughs>